Good evening guys, the series I want to talk to you about today is Mail by Usui Yamazaki who uh, is the artist for um, the Kurosaki Corpse Delivery Service if you haven't read that and this is basically his standalone series, he does the artwork and the story unlike in Kurosaki Corpse Delivery Service um, but funnily enough this is also set in the same universe so sometimes characters kind of cross through which is pretty interesting um, and Mail uh, is a three volume long series uh, published by Dark Horse. Uh, it's still in print, uh, I believe. None of the volumes are particularly too rare, or you know, they're all pretty cheap basically. So if you want to go out and get this, it's a nice short read, nice short and sweet. Uh, and it is genuinely re a really fun read if you're into like uh, a horror mystery, that sort of thing. Then yeah, it's, it, you know, it's. Uh, it's definitely worth a read. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it myself, and uh, it centers around a man called uh, Reiji Akiba, who's basically like a um, like a private investigator, but for like more paranormal occurrences. Um, he has a, a sanctified gun. Um, basically, any time a ghost is involved, he uh, basically uh, like admonishes, um, you know, uh, the soul, um, uh, so that it can basically rest in peace, um, because. The souls that he encounters are basically terrorising the living because um, in this world um, the beliefs are that basically the dead crave life and they want acknowledgement from the living so if, if they see that a living person like can see them they will just basically follow them around um, you know hoping for questions you know if, if, if they've died in mysterious circumstances or if they've died you know in great sorrow then basically they, they, they die in, they, they still exist in the state in which they died, uh, which is, you know, pretty depressing. Um, but, you know, it, it's really interesting to see um, the, the, the people uh, that Reiji, you know, the main protagonist interacts with. Um, you know, he, he, he comes across people who are being, you know, stalked by, you know, their dead loved ones or, you know, stalked by complete strangers and things like that. And it's, it's really interesting. Um, the series itself, um, th there is progression to the story, um, but every chapter is like a standalone chapter. Like you could basically even pick up volume one or volume two and just begin reading and understand it straight away. You know, each chapter is a standalone chap chapter. The whole series is episodic like that. So, um, but you know, th 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 there is um, character development for the main character, Rage. You know, you get to find out about his past. Um, you know, who he is. You know, why he became. You know, um, a a paranormal investigator and you know that aspect of it is very interesting you know I, I, it's it's kind of if you've read the Kurosaki Cops delivery service then you will you will understand you know because that's kind of the same that also that's another, another episodic series um, so yeah you, you, you will understand if you read that um, but one thing that can maybe put you off it is the fact that it can get a little bit rep, you know repetitive um, like the beginning and the end of each chapter is more or less exactly the same you know in the beginning he introduces himself and by the end you know he's always going to get his ghost and you know before he does that he you know he'll he'll point the gun towards the ghost and you know start chanting towards them you know like he's chanting sutras or something like that and you know it's cool you know like the first few times the artwork is you know stunning but you know towards the end you know it gets a little bit repetitive and it's like you know uh, you know I've seen this like you know 20 times already um, but you know, nonetheless, it's still really good. Um, now, um, the horror elements of the series, um, at first it's kind of light, you know, his, his art style and, you know, his way of telling a story is very morbid. So, if you know, if you don't like graphic violence or, you know, suffering and pain, then, you know, maybe don't pick this up because it might be too much of a strong read. You know, me personally, that's, you know, I, I like reading stuff like that, you know. It, it, it's, it's very true to, um, you know, how you would kind of experience a situation like that, you know, the, the terror that people, um, you know, feel when they're confronted by a ghost that's stalking them, you know, feels very real. You, you do. I personally felt that I was very, you know, empathetic towards some of the characters. And um, basically, um, the horror elements, you know, the, the, there are some scenes that, you know, make you think that if you were in that situation, like if you were in the shoes of the one... Um, experiencing that you know you would absolutely be terrified you know I'm kind of scared of ghosts myself and the whole idea of it so this really this is kind of spine tingling um, 
you know, at some parts, which you know, is it makes for an entertaining read, you know, of course. And uh, another thing that's really interesting as well, you know, pertaining to that whole horror element is um, the main character, Reiji Yakiba. Obviously he can see and communicate with ghosts, so, you know, he has like an extrasensory perceptive ability, which is, you know, pretty cool. And, you know, that really shines and is accented when basically he introduces himself to basically the reader and essentially breaks the fourth wall, you know, in, 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 you know, in comics. And uh, you know that that sort of personal relationship with the reader is not something you like. I have personally often seen in manga. That's something that you you know more seen in you know like Western sort of comics. And I find that really interesting because it it, it nicely accents his ability. Because any like at the start of some of the chapters when he's introducing in him, himself, his like how it's um, how it's illustrated. Um, it, it's he's not like stood in a room or anything. He's just like stood in darkness. Like, you know, he's almost communicating you via his psyche or something, which is really, really cool. I really like the element of the series. But overall, it's a, a very entertaining read, albeit a little bit rep repetitive at times. The artwork is stunning. Um, a, a man called uh, Bunpei, I can't remember his name. Um, what's his name? Uh, Bunpei Yorifuji. Um, designs the front covers, um, who, he also designs the front covers for the Kurosagi Cops delivery service as well, so you know it looks nice on the shelf next to um, the Kurosagi Cops delivery service, which is where I keep it, and yeah, I, I, I definitely recommend picking this series up, um, like I said, three volumes long, you can't go wrong for, for your money there, so yeah, I'm Archangel, signing out, goodbye.